All right. Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures beta, learn form validation by building a calorie counter. Step nine. All right. So in our span element, we're going to create a label element for an entry dropdown and give it the text add food or exercise. All right. So we're going to put the four in there and it's going to be entry dropdown. Uh, then we're going to create a select element with the ID set to entry drop down. So the ID is going to be target. This four and this ID are going to go together and a name set to options. Below that, we're going to add a button element with the ID set to add entry and the text add entry. All right. Uh, then we're going to give our button element a type attribute set to button to prevent automatic form submission. All right. So let's get this going. We're going to start off with a label. So label, close label. All right. And we're going to give up. We're going to put a four in here. Four equals uh, entry hyphen drop down. All right. So now we're going to put as get a select element mm, after that. All right. So we'll do select, select. Oops. Actually, this one had add food or exercise inside of it. So let's do add food or exercise with a colon like that, right? Then we're gonna do the select right here. So we'll do select, cell, act, nope, select, cell, act, all right? And then we're gonna do the close select, close select, all right? And we're going to give that the ID of entry dropdown. So let's just take this four with the space in front of it and put it right here. And let's change the four to an ID. All right. So then we're going to add a name set to options as well to this uh, select. So name equals options. All right. And then below that, we're going to add a button element with the ID set to add entry and the text add entry. All right. So we'll do... Uh, button, close button, and then we'll do uh, add entry. What was it? ID, ID equals add hyphen entry. All right. And then we'll put the uh, text add entry in there. All right. So now we're going to give our button element a type attribute set to button to prevent automatic form submission. All right. So we'll say type, tripe, type equals uh, button. All right. So that should take care of it. Uh, let's check the code. Looks good and submit it. All right. Now we're on to step 10 and we'll see you next time.